Uh, my name is Gabriel Falana, the head of the Product and Change Division here at Castro's Bank. My name is Paul Hurst. I look after the credit risk for the uh, Omni side of the business within Castle Trust Bank. Omni Capital was um, formed back in 2009 and was acquired by Castle Trust back in 2017. Since becoming a bank in 2020, what we have done with the Omni proposition is try to take it to greater heights by basically improving the capabilities that we deliver to our retailers and also providing a seamless customer journey to our customers. I've been with uh, Castle Trust Bank now uh, for coming up to five years. Uh, we first started working with Lending Metrics uh, in 2018. Before we started using Lending Metrics as ADP, um, we had a mixture uh, of systems that we did use. We had uh, the credit strategy in two places, internally within ours and externally with a third party. One of the restrictions that we found previously as well with the platform and the systems we had, it restricted us to a one-size-fits-all credit strategy. With moving to Lending Metrics ADP and the flexibility that that gives us, uh, we've been able to sort of like tailor our credit risk strategy to our partners, whether that be brokers or retailers. We also want to make sure that we are part of the customer's life throughout the lifetime of the loan. So if we think about the impact the economy has had on customers, we want to make sure that we actually go through with them on that journey. The information and intelligence we've got from our credit decisioning tool to understand what the customer profile could look like in the next six months, in the next 12 months. And that's one of the things that we really want to do and really supported by the capabilities that Lending Metrics offers. We want to move into more of a multi-bureau strategy and move away from a primary bureau. One of the things that uh, I'm very interested in going forward is to have a look at the DG product and see how we can combine uh, the credit feeds from the bureaus into one single response. What we've seen over the last six to 12 months not even um, considering the impact COVID has had in terms of people working from home, people working from the office. We, what we have seen is a sort of steady um, change pattern and I'd, I'd even say we have actually seen an improvement. But I think what's actually behind that is the high degree of self-serve capability that we have within the Lending Metrics platform and that allows us to actually have a lot of capability to implement these changes and what I see now is um, a solid foundation that has not only helped us to get to where we are but actually is in the right place in terms of helping us to achieve what our um, financial goals and customer targets are. We want to see how we can develop and continue to grow our partnership uh, with Lending Metrics going forward. Uh, they are a strategic partner for us. We've doubled the lending that we do uh, in the Omni business. Um, the Lending Metrics platforms helped us to support that growth um, uh, and the loss rates that we're actually seeing now are, are lower than where we were uh, back in 2018. When I look at the engagement with Lending Metrics so far, one of the things I'm really proud about is the way that the Castle Trust Bank and Omni change agenda actually influences the Lending Metrics roadmap. And over the next six to 12 months, we have a lot of strategic initiatives that we would like to deliver and that would not be possible without working very closely with Lending Metrics. 